boring? Check. Few tourist attractions? Check. High crime and dangerous neighborhoods? Check. Tell me why you want to visit these states. Without a doubt, the United States is beautiful and known for its diversity, which can be found in each of its 50 states. And while each of these states are unique, some of them should not be on anyone's bucket list. Some of them are so boring and bad for a road trip that you can't even stay for two or three days because there is nothing to see or do. Others you simply must avoid because of high crime activity. If you're planning a trip to the United States, please watch this video all the way through so you know which states to avoid and not waste your time and money on because they are not worth visiting. So if you are already planning on visiting these states, be prepared to cross them off your list as we take you through our list of the top 10 states you should not visit in the United States. Number 10. North Dakota Imagine a hilly countryside and vast open plains where you can watch your dog run for days. And you have North Dakota. This state is in the United States Midwestern region, known for its badlands, which are part of the 70,000 acre Theodore Roosevelt National Park. And that is essentially what the state is known for, as well as the best thing to do in the state. Visit Theodore Roosevelt National Park, climb a few rocks and gaze out into the unbroken landscape. Aside from the Theodore Roosevelt National Park, the state fair and the giant turtle on a giant snowmobile, this state doesn't have much to offer. Number 9. Nebraska Nebraska, like North Dakota, is a Midwestern state in the United States. And guess what it has in common with North Dakota? Plain old boring. Nebraska is frequently praised by travel riders for its music and art scenes, as well as its wildlife, but it is consistently ranked last on the list of states that tourists want to visit. Why? Because Nebraska is just a long cornfield through which people want to drive to get to the Rockies. The landscape is so boring that you shouldn't even consider taking a road trip to Nebraska because there is nothing worth seeing. There are no mountains, no oceans and only a few natural lakes and forests. The state is plain and flat, with rows and rows of cornfields. And the only major cities are Omaha and Lincoln. Some people may regard Nebraska's landscape as peaceful. And if you're one of them, you're welcome to visit Nebraska. Number 8. South Dakota South Dakota is a large, sparsely populated state in the Midwestern United States, where rolling prairies give way to the dramatic Black Hills National Forest and Mount Rushmore. Unless you want to see Mount Rushmore, which is the only tourist attraction worth seeing, the state is not the place to think of when planning an exciting vacation. There isn't much to do in South Dakota unless you live in Sioux Falls, Rapid City or Pierre, which account for roughly three quarters of the state's population. Like its neighbor North Dakota, it is sparsely populated and devoid of excitement. If you don't live in a big South Dakota city, you don't have much to do to pass the time and there aren't many people with whom to do it. Number 7. Delaware Sitting on a peninsula surrounded by dune-backed beaches, Delaware is a small mid-Atlantic state. It is famous for its beaches. The most popular one is Rehoboth Beach, which is actually very nice but nothing spectacular that you won't find in other states with a lot to offer. Delaware is a small town where everyone knows everyone else. Summer is for going to the beach, which is one of the only tourist attractions and lacks good theater shows and fine dining. There are no mountains or hills, so there are no outdoor activities, except the beach. It's a great place to raise a family, but it's a complete waste of time and money for a vacation. Number 6. Indiana the strangest thing about how bad Indiana is to visit is that it is surrounded by much better states. Before visiting Indiana, you should go to Illinois, Wisconsin or Michigan. Because the majority of Indiana is comprised of small towns or farmland, it's understandable that these areas aren't designed for tourism. However, Indiana's capital city of Indianapolis is where the state loses the most points. Indianapolis is a significant city, particularly in this region of the Midwest. There is, unfortunately, nothing to do there. Unless you count state parks, a few theme and water parks and the Indianapolis 500. A great spectacle in car racing. But who wants to watch 33 cars drive inches apart in circles for hours, right? Number 5. Mississippi 
Mississippi is known for its southern charm and bluegrass music. And it is home to the famous Mississippi River, legendary catfish and Elvis Presley and Oprah Winfrey. But that's about it. Of course, it has beaches, museums and festivals. But Mississippi is an excellent example of a state that is not worth your time. Extreme weather, hurricanes plus its bad stats for having low quality healthcare, high rate of poverty, poor education and life expectancy, Mississippi is totally not worth visiting. Jackson, the state's largest city and capital, is also in shambles. The crime rate is high, the streets are dangerous, there is racial tension and the weather is harsh. Jackson is not a place to visit unless you're driving through town to see some of the major historical sites and it is regarded as one of the most dangerous cities in the United States. Want to know where to travel? Check out our top 10 most beautiful US cities video. Number 4. Ohio Ohio is a state in the United States Midwestern region. The majority of Ohio is pretty lax in the sense that it is mostly boring flat farmland. There are no mountains or seas to discover. There are only cornfields and soybeans. The majority of its tourist attractions, which are few and far between, can be found in the cities. And unfortunately, the majority of the cities are the worst in the country. And the attractions are neither spectacular nor inspiring. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland is very expensive, but if you like rock music, it might be worth it. Cuyahoga National Park's waterfall is truly uninspiring. It's a good place to grow up and raise a family, but it's not a place to go on vacation. Number 3. Idaho The word that comes to mind first when thinking about this state is potato. Idaho is well known for its potatoes, trout and precious stones as well as its unspoiled, rugged landscapes, but there is no reason to visit. Several studies have ranked the state as one of the top three boring states in the United States. The landscape is ideal for outdoor activities such as fishing, hiking, camping and mountain biking. But you can do these things elsewhere, so it's nothing particularly spectacular. And the nightlife is nothing to boast of. If you enjoy this video, it would be super helpful for the channel if you'd support us via the super thanks button. Thank you. Number 2. Iowa Iowa is a midwestern state located between the Missouri and Mississippi rivers. It, like the other midwestern states, is known for its landscape of rolling plains and cornfields. This means that it will be similar to the other states. Boring, with no spectacular tourist attractions. If you decide to go, Expect to see the Capitol building and a slew of museums that you can't find anywhere else. So tell me, why should you go to Iowa? Unless you're looking for peace and quiet and a lack of things to do. Number 1. Kansas Kansas, another Midwestern state that is still extremely boring. It appears that all of the Midwestern states are monotonous. Nothing really stands out in Kansas and there is nothing to see or do besides look at prairies, view the flat landscape and watch wheat fields being harvested, which is what Kansas is best known for. The Sedgwick County Zoo, the Wichita Art Museum and the Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve are its top tourist attractions. We should give it to Kansas though, because it has a beautiful sunset and sunrise but nothing else worth visiting. We are sure that you'd like to see places worth visiting now. If you are right, watch our video featuring the 10 most beautiful cities in the US.